every single project that I've done up until this point has built on the project before it. I've been very careful with my selection and choices to make sure that that happens. I want to make sure I learn something. And this one was just such a beast. Oh, 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 look at all this. Walnut wood, walnut wood, walnut wood. Look at all this walnut wood. Man, check all this wood that I just got. Woo! Oh, this is pretty. Look at this. This is seven boyfriends worth of wood, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Board no, feet. I'm like, what is that? No, big fellas. <laughs> big fe this is seven big fellas, Roger. It took seven big fellas to cut down this tree. Look, I am fully supporting of this uh, measurement Bella. system. Like my Tesla would be what? Like 14 big fellas? Speaking of, look at this big fella. Yeah. yeah, so Miss Strider wants to paint the top of our cathedral ceiling and it's what, 20, 20 feet? Yeah, and it's way too expensive to have somebody else do it. So I bought a big ladder. Yeah, it's like thousands of dollars in order to thousands. get it. Thousands. Babe, did you change the viewfinder settings because it's Wrong. I did. No, I did so you could see the whole thing. You gotta show your sander that we got from my fingers. Guys, check out this really cool sander <laughs> that I just got. <laughs> you want it? <laughs> yeah. We anyway, y'all. Dude, I have got to fix this camera thing, but. So today, as part of my woodworking journey, I am going to start making a chair. Danish inspired. Inspired. <laughs> what are you doing, <laughs> Strider? Like that. I know. Back in, what are you doing? This is how we're gonna hang all of them. Oh! Fine. Fine. Guys, let us know in the comments where I draw. I don't see it anywhere. Uh, whose decision was it to get this color? Can't find anything. Right? Go give me another. <laughs> Step one, we cut. The process involved in turning wood like this, like really roughed up, scratchy stuff, all the way to this. It's the most satisfying thing in the world. Look at it, so clean. I just wanted to show you guys this. I just cracked this open. That's like the prettiest bit of walnut I think I've ever seen. Guys, look at me cry cutting. I just ran some crazy Illustrator file through flashing buttons. So I'm gonna use the bandsaw on this one and it's gonna be pretty crazy. It's gonna be a lot of amorphous, like really atypical shapes. Let's pull these out and see what happens. Oh, look at this, it worked. Perfectly. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's a very long piece, much longer than the cry cuts 12 by 12 inches. So I just did a bunch of them and my plan is, I'm just gonna overlay them on top of each other. Let me grab the camera and show you. So if this lays on top of this, yeah, and then dip it, dip it. All right, the template is cut out. Now is the really fun, horrifying part. Let's get this guy on here, do a tracer, tracer. Gotta be perfect, you guys. Yes. Now we made the cut. So it turned out pretty good. It's a little rough around the edges, but that's to be expected. I'm a total noob when it comes to that bandsaw. These next surfaces right here and right here, these cuts are gonna be glue ups. So they need to be dead flat, like dead, dead, dead flat. So instead of doing it on the bandsaw, I'm going to try and do it on this very reliable saw. Lay it in, clamp it down, chop it, chop it. It's always scary to do stuff like that on the miter saw, but man, looks really flat and good. Look at that, perfect. Ooh. This is the time, the time, finally. After so much cutting and sawing and cutting and sawing. All right, now it's gonna be like Lego. This is gonna be the base piece. This is gonna go at a diagonal. Hold on, I'm confused. This is the front leg. It's at an angle that goes just like so. Perfect, it's flat. It should match this flatness. And it does. This is one of the arms. That little hook there should match with this hook. I'm like, let's see if my marks line up. And then these guys both tuck to the back. Now let's see if we're off anywhere. Let's line up all the joints as best as we can. It's looking really good, guys. So this is the left side. This is, yeah, this is the left side of the chair. Now let's build the right side and let's hope that we have similar luck. <laughs> It is lined up. This could use some modding. Do I do it now or do I sand it? Don't know. Let's do the last bit of band slide. Guys, this. <sighs> Thank you, feet. Thank you. Guys, this project has been so wickedly hard. I really thought that it was gonna be like a throwaway couple days. Ah, nice new walnut chair. Like a weekend. I'm really, really tired. But we're so close to the end and it's gonna look amazing. For joinery, we're gonna use dowels. So let me go ahead and make some marks. For the jig. We shall fill the hole with glue. We shall put the dowel in the hole with the glue and squeeze. 
Alright. You know what? While we're here, we might as well just go for it. Here we go. Alright, here goes Dathan. For the gold, we shall do this. We shall do this live. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, get him in there. Maybe four dollars is too much. Maybe four dollars is too much. I can't get it in there. Come on, I'm so close. Almost there. Almost there. Woo! Okay, so clamped, glued, clamp glued, doweled glued. Now we wait 30 minutes and go cry in the shower. Most stressful project. I know I've already said this, but when I wanted to tackle this project, I wanted something simple and chill. Uh, it didn't turn out that way. Wow. Now it's time to do some touch ups. Wow, look at that. Looks so much better. Now it's time to sand. We're gonna start really gritty at first. Now let's do a rounded edge on this bad boy. After another sanding, dude, it just looks so good. Oh man, so this was such a huge part of the project. Really, this is the bulk of it. Now it's just filling in the details, right? I'm just gonna do some side beams and back supports and that's it. Uh, I really thought that this project was gonna come crashing and burning, but I'm just so proud. Huge mistakes made on this project, huge. But I was able to bounce back from most of them. Woo. All right, back to the garage. Why don't you just have a seat? Just have a seat. Come on, Kiki, why don't you just sit down? Guys, it's coming along. It's like almost there. I need to make the back and then start screwing stuff in. Woo! Kiki, come here. Okay, wait a minute. Cake. I didn't even know you were out here, bro. I see you. Bit by bit by bit by bit. We are Yep, yep. Okay, that was my toe. I am so very proud of this so far. Oh, it's been a, a long day. That's <laughs> why I'm talking like I'm in Indiana Jones. Oh, we're so close to finish. Just a quick recap. Every single project that I've done up until this point has built on the project before it. I've been very careful with my selection and choices to make sure that that happens. I wanna make sure I learn something. And this one was just such a beast. And there are so many opportunities for mess ups and I somehow narrowly avoided all of them. I'm just so stoked. All right, let me get this lined up and clamp. There it is, there's the mess up. There's the one that I knew was gonna be. <laughs> it's a very innocent one and I'm very thankful. So these two holes, are supposed to be over here. This this hole goes to nothing. So these holes are supposed to be here. This single is supposed to be over here. It's okay. One there, one there with some glue. It's not going anywhere. No one will know that's there except me and the people who watch this video. Finally, the time has come. We've glued up. We have fastened. We've screwed. We've done everything. Woo, it's sanded to 220. So guys, normally I would wait until the very, very, very end, meaning I have some straps coming, some straps that are gonna go across, oh. and I have some from India there. I found an Etsy shop from India it's that's beautiful. gonna make us some leather cushions. Dude, it's gorgeous. Leather cushion, leather cushion. But we're gonna cap it. We're not gonna wait the two weeks that it's gonna take to get a package from no, India. We'll you YouTube's later. a hungry beast, man. We gotta keep We gotta the, keep feeding it. We gotta keep <laughs> feeding it, like, you know, breadcrumbs. That's it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. This was immensely educational. Very beautiful. Horrible. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Look at you doing little side thingies. What are those called? Uh, pocket holes. Yeah. yeah. I didn't really want to put them, but they're gonna be totally hidden. And by the way, this is a completely unfinished. I, I haven't even put any wax or any finish on there. I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like. Great job, Beth. Woo, I need to take a shower. Guys, I'm out. <laughs>